What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So let's listen to this. Foot, we're arguing over. Where have gone to 21 foot? Mm. So we're arguing over a foot. Why should I be... So, you heard that uh, Billy Joe Saunders, he states that they agreed now to uh, uh, a 20-foot ring, okay? And he said that, you know, uh, he wanted to go to a 22 but, you know, uh, he's not going to hold up the fight for a 22. So he's not going to uh, argue with Canelo about one foot. So he says that they agreed to uh, 21 feet. But he will absolutely not agree to an 18 foot. When his standard size, he did his homework. And Canelo Alvarez, last few fights, all his fights were at 20 foot rings. He said he just fought Caelan Smith in a 20 foot ring. So how come I walk down and... Uh, you know, uh, I go to look at the ring and I see, you know, uh, that the ring is a very small ring. That it's an 18-foot ring. He says uh, it was 17 to 18-foot ring. He says, I absolutely will not agree to that. He says, but I wanted it to be, uh, I've been training an Olympic-style 24-inch ring. He says, now, that, okay, he understands that that's a huge ring. But uh, if you've been fighting in a standard 20-inch ring, 20-foot uh, ring, uh, then you can fight me in a 21-foot or 22-foot ring. Let's listen to what he had to say again. I mean, two-foot, we're arguing over. Where has gone to 21-foot? Mm. So we're arguing over a foot. Why should I be worrying about arguing over a foot? But So you heard what he said. He said now they have went to a 21-foot ring, and now you know uh, he's not going to hold up the fight for one foot, but he will not fight in an 18-foot ring. Okay? He says, obviously... That suits him, okay? And he stated that he understands Canelo Alvarez is the A-side. He understands that Canelo Alvarez wants to have every advantage possible going into the fight. But he will not. He says, I'm not everybody else. I don't need money. Uh, he says, I'm already accomplished in my career. I'm a two-division champion. I'm undefeated. Uh, I have big a big fan base, especially over in the UK. I'm not one of these fighters that's coming here just to lose to Canelo Alvarez. He stated... I'm giving him his props for what he's accomplished in his career. He's definitely a uh, number one pound for pound fighter in the world, according to Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, and he states that, you know, uh, so I give him his props and he is the A side. He says he's co promoted with Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn with the zone. It's Mayweather, it's Canelo Alvarez promotions with uh, uh, Matchroom promotions. So he stated that he understands that uh, he wants every advantage possible. He says that if it was Billy Joe Saunders promotions, and I was the big star. Yes, I would try to, you know, uh, have every advantage possible as well in my favor. He says, but, uh, you know, if you get a savvy guy on the other side that's accomplished as well, they're not going to have those tricks uh, um, go over their head. He says, so I'm not going to allow all of these things just to take place. And I'm just going to, you know, um, go in the ring and just be satisfied with sharing the ring with Canelo Alvarez. No, he says that. Uh, he heard that he knew that Eddie Hearn uh, kept telling him to trust him. He says, and I was trusting him, but, you know, there's a lot of things I'm unhappy with with Eddie Hearn. I understand that Canelo Alvarez is the cash cow, but there's things that Eddie Hearn should work in my favor as well. He should be wanting to, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, campaign for me behind the scenes as well, and he's not doing that. Uh, he stated that uh, he knew that they was bringing in John Ryder. He spoke to John Ryder's strength and condition coach. But he told Eddie Hearn, yes, you can have a replacement on deck, but it will not be for my belt. My WBO belt will not be on the line if there's a replacement. If I'm not stepping in that squared circle, my belt will not be on the line as well. So he said he had to inform Eddie Hearn that, okay? Uh, so I don't know if, you know, they were looking to uh, remove Billy Joe Saunders, strip him of the WBO title if he didn't participate in this fight, but he let it be known that he would, you know, go to bat for himself when it comes to that. And he stated his belt will not be on the line. So he says now that they agreed to a 21-foot ring. And he stated that, you know, um, uh, he says, obviously, Canelo Alvarez wanted every advantage, shrinking the ring so small. Uh, he says, but if Eddie Hearn knew that uh, Canelo Alvarez's few fights, past few fights were at 20 foot, why in the world would my fight be at 18 foot if he's not worrying about what I bring to the table, okay? If... And that's what I stated. If Canelo Alvarez has grown leaps and browns since the Floyd Mayweather fight, then why did he immediately place the ring in position for him to have every advantage, shrinking the ring to 18 foot? If he fought in a 20 foot foot uh, ring, 
twenty foot ring against Caleb Smith, against Abney O'Dirum, and uh, you know these last few fights he's had. Then why, when you get in there with Billy Joe Saunders, a slick southpaw boxer who has quick feet, why are you shrinking the ring if you made adjustments and you've grown since the Floyd Mayweather fight and since ultimately the Eris Landy Lara fight? Because Eris Landy Lara uh, has more in common, in my opinion, uh, to Billy Joe Saunders than Floyd Mayweather and Billy Joe Saunders. So uh, with that said, you know, uh, I believe that Eris Landy Lara and Floyd Mayweather, they both have extremely long arms. Floyd Mayweather is 72 uh, Eris Landy Lara is 75 and Billy Joe Saunders is at 70 and he's taller than both. Floyd Mayweather at 5 foot 8, uh, Eris Landy Lara 5 foot 9 and Billy Joe Saunders at 5 foot 11, nearly 6 feet tall. Okay, um, but he has shorter arms than they do. But he does have a slick mobile style that that's the style that gives Canelo Alvarez trouble. So Canelo Alvarez wanted to shrink the ring in his favor so that way when he cut off the ring, he is not hard for him to find Billy Joe Saunders. And Billy Joe Saunders says he understands that. But these tricks of the trade will not work on me because I have my own money. I have my own brand. Uh, I'm big in the UK. I'm a two-division world champion. I'm accomplished. And that's not going to work to work for me. You know, I'm not coming in there uh, just to say I shared the ring and be happy to say I shared the ring with Canelo Alvarez, with the great Canelo Alvarez. And I agree with Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, most fighters in this position, they wouldn't put up much of a fuss uh, if they see the ring was small. They would just say, well, the ring is small. They're not going to stand on their square and risk the, uh, losing the fight. Billy Joe Saunders says, I don't, I don't need the money for this fight. I'm simply fighting this fight for my legacy. It's not for the money. So, therefore, other fighters may be in this position, and they say, well, they're not looking to lose the money, so they're going to have the fight anyway. They're not work, work, they don't want to cause any rift, any waves, uh, and, and risk losing the fight. So, they just go with the flow. So, Billy Joe Saunders said... I'm not going with the flow, okay? I'm going to have equals... Uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to be treated fairly, ultimately, when it comes down to this fight because I bring stuff to the table just like Canelo Alvarez brings to the table. And I agree. I believe Billy Joe Saunders have every tool in the toolbox necessary to defeat Canelo Alvarez. Uh, now we have to see if he has the mental fortitude to defeat Canelo Alvarez. Can he actually, you know, uh, deliver uh, and bring to light bring to fruition what he's been training. He says that he's been training. He's in the best shape of his life. Obviously, every boxer, they say that this is the best training camp. But he says this wasn't a, a camp, a weight loss camp for him. He wasn't in camp to try to lose weight. He says he was simply there to work on strategy and work and just sharpening his um, boxing skills. So we're going to see how this unfolds. But he stated that uh, against David Lemieux, you know, uh, he wasn't even in this uh, much of a shape, okay? So he understands what's at stake for his legacy. So he said, this is simply for my legacy. This has nothing to do with uh, money. Now, obviously, it's prize fighting, so he's not going to turn down, you know, uh, the prize at the end, the gold, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, obviously, um, because, you know, he wants to financially be able to take care of his family, obviously, and himself. So uh, he's not going to turn that down, but ultimately his goal is to build his legacy, and, uh, you know, uh, become a, a, a legend in the sport of boxing. And he says that he knows 100% when I step in that ring, he says, I'm leaving with Canelo Alvarez belt and my belt. He says, I'm going to make a statement on Saturday night. And hopefully that's true. Me personally, I just want to see this fight on an equal playing field. I want to see the best fight the best on an equal playing field. I understand Canelo Alvarez is the A side. Uh, but like Billy Joe Saunders said, uh, Canelo Alvarez stated, uh, that he the ring size didn't matter to him. So if the ring size didn't matter to Canelo Alvarez, then why stand firm on trying to have an eight foot ring, eighteen foot ring? Uh, you should just have said, okay, Billy Joe Saunders is not happy with this uh, size ring. What is he looking to have now? Obviously, I'm not saying that Canelo Alvarez just uh, Billy Joe Saunders wanted a thirty foot ring and he agrees. No, what I'm saying to you is this: the twenty foot ring is a little extreme. Okay, twenty four foot ring is a little extreme. Uh, but you fought in a 20-foot ring in your last two fights against Abney O'Dirham and Caleb Smith. Uh, but they weren't movers, okay? So you want to shrink your, uh, you want to, uh, you know, shrink the ring so Billy Joe Saunders can't utilize his strong points, which is understandable. But then you can't say ring size don't matter because you would have never asked for a smaller ring that you normally didn't fight in your last few fights. And uh, if Billy Joe Saunders asked for a 22-foot ring, and you fought your last two fights in the 20-foot ring, and size of the ring doesn't matter, then you will just go ahead and concede to him having a 22-foot ring. 
but you know the the size of the ring does matter if you can have Alvarez because that that enhances Billy Joe Saunders' uh, biggest attributes. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Both parties agreed to a 21 foot ring. Let's see how everything unfolds. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.